Hey there, it's Angie. I'm doing a face video. And you can stare at my soap scum slash water stain <laughs> shower curtain. I am popping on really quick to do just some skincare that I use. And the reason I want to hit skincare first is because, well, skincare. And I don't talk a whole lot about my skincare. I have been on a little bit of a skincare journey and I have just returned to a lot, to some things that I was already using to start with. So the first thing that I use is this guy, the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. I love this. This has been a staple now for several years. I Since I was in my early 20s, I have been trying to do maintenance for my skin, whether it's dermabrasion or treatments or other things because, well, you start young and as you get older, it it's less of an issue, right? And now that I'm now that I'm getting a little bit older, I'm noticing some fine lines and some other things. So I had tried this product called Oral Gold years ago and super expensive, like way too expensive for to be something that I would want to repurchase on the regular and way too aggressive. I would get serious pilling from about here down where like the skin would start to come off but wasn't completely ready. I had stopped using that for a while and I've always had problems with texture. Sorry, it's it's warm in here. I'm just gonna just gonna dab, 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 dab some of that that shine. But uh with texture on my forehead, and I was in a JCPenney Sephora near where I work, and I was talking to one of the girls there about this product that I use. It was actually really good at getting the dead skin off my face. And she goes, I got a product for you, and she introduced me to this. This is gentler by far. I, if I get some pilling, I can just gently go like that and the skin comes right off. I had been without this for several weeks and texture was back. I've, I'm having acne issues on my face. The more I use this, the more that goes away. Like the texture is almost completely gone because what is happening, and I think what a lot of us miss when we start having issues with texture and acne is dead skin makes it so that our skin cannot purge the way it is meant to right? Doesn't let sweat, doesn't let oils, doesn't let other things out. And dead skin is a great way to capture it. Dead skin also makes your skin look dull. So instead of buying products that are meant to make me look radiant, I use this and I let my skin do the work. Again, texture gone, which is really nice. Something that I probably will purchase and have really been loving, I got this in an Ula Hendrickson kit. And this is the Balancing Force oil control toner. I had their face wash and their lotion as well that I really liked. Not as, those don't come off enough and benefit enough to be daily, but this guy I really, really do enjoy and I'm trying to use it up. Again, that might be a repurchase. I really like it. It's cooling on the skin. It doesn't hurt my skin. I am using my Virage from doTERRA face wash. This is the lotion, the face washes in that guy back there. I am a wellness advocate with doTERRA. I don't put my wellness information. So if you're like, well, I wanna buy from you, I don't put it up for, for a specific reason because I'm not trying to use this as a sales page, but I just, full disclosure, I do potentially make an income off of things if you purchase from me and I were to put that information in there and maybe I'll quit being a chicken and just put that information in there. But uh, I love doTERRA's essential oil skincare. And this is from the Virage line. They have dedicated anti-aging. They have for acne. My husband uses the HD Clear for acne. Virage, I find that I come back to again and again. This lotion is super light. It's great for times like right now when it's summer and I'm gonna be sweaty. It just gets into my skin and it does the job. I've been using different face washes and I come back to Virage time and again because while other face washes might be okay and might not cause issues with my skin. I also don't see benefits and I have found that my eyes don't like a lot of the face products that I use, that I just buy from the store from Sephora. My eyes get super irritated and the Virage line doesn't do that. Something that I like that stands out in the face wash is the addition of basil essential oil. doTERRA uses 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils. They're not fragrance oils, they're not food oils. I and everybody I know who uses these do not have issues with them irritating or drying out our skin. It just makes things beautiful and gives some added benefit. Now I, I've got again products that you're gonna see in a declutter 
that are being decluttered because they're fine products, but either they irritate my eyes or they just, they, they don't really give any benefit. They clean the skin. And I don't just want that in my skincare. I want skincare out of my skincare at this stage in life. So that's why I went back to the Virage line. They have a spray toner. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to that or not. I kind of like the Ula Hendrickson more. I feel like it does more for the oil control that I need with oilier skin. And then a staple for years and years and years is the doTERRA Essential Skin Care Hydrating Cream. I like this at night. I, you know, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream calls to me and I have had a sample of her Magic Eye Cream. I want that stuff. It's like $60, but it did great for my eye skin. But what it reminds me of is using this guy. And I have this guy and I like this guy and I've used it forever. So I think I'm going to stick with this guy. It is a thick cream super lovely and delicious on the skin absolutely great for moisture I used it last night my skin felt wonderful this morning it just felt hydrated and it felt plumpy and it felt delicious and in here you've got lavender jasmine geranium and frankincense i will tell you that lavender can be an irritant to my skin i am sensitive to it but i do not have a problem at all with it in the skincare so something about what it is mixed with makes it kind of neutralizes whatever it must do that causes the irritation if I just get lavender oil on my skin. Oh, Jasmine, geranium, and frank are fabulous. The only thing that I think that they could add to this would be rose, honestly, because rose is like the queen of oils for the skin, but I have rose oil, so I'm not overly concerned. And that is my skincare. I have other, other things that I might use intermittently. Again, I'm just looking at stuff that I'm gonna be showing you when I declutter it, like for my legs and for my body, I use Lubriderm Advanced Therapy because like outside of my face, I'm not oily and other places get dry. I use a Nuke or a Nux, 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 Nux uh, dry oil with that because I like the scent. The Lubriderm is unscented, which is great if you want an unscented lotion. I also love Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom Cream. I think it is absolutely fabulous. Skincare, I also, just grab it. I've been trying to use up and at night I've been using the Rose Flash Balm, which you can also use as a primer. This I find doesn't do anything extra for my skin. It reminds me of the summer Fridays. And quite frankly, it's a step that I just don't need in my skincare. But when I use it up, I will be decluttering that as well. So yeah, well, I won't be decluttering. I'll be throwing it away because it'll be used up. And that is, that is, that is skincare in a nutshell. So we are gonna get to make up real quick here. All right, so we're gonna prime the eyes. As always, the only primer I like. This stuff is my oily eyelid. 12 plus hour wear. <laughs> Making things look nice primer. And I just, because I'm gonna be outside later today, I'm just gonna do something not too crazy. Oh. I've been playing with my Charlotte Tilbury chameleon sticks. I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about those dang things. All right, so there is that guy. Give it a second. Do, 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 do. Oh, I wanted to talk about women's issues when I came out here, but I don't even want to talk about that anymore. You know, it's kind of like a TMI. Uh, I have just, I have had so many like unexplained issues over the years that I have had tests for. I was told at one point that potentially I was going through early menopause and other things. And what I have found is that uh, the birth control I'm on has a lot to do with it. And when I'm not on birth control, I have issues. So I'm back on the Yaz. The Yaz, things have normalized. Things have really normalized in a way that I was surprised with. So it's balancing hormones. That's, that's all I can think about that it's doing is that it's making things normal, which means when I'm not on it and when I wasn't on it, when we were trying to conceive our daughter, uh, that hormones in my body are out of whack and I think I gotta find a specialist that can actually deal with that because that's a problem. So <laughs> hormones out of whack for a woman is not a good thing because hormones aren't just mood. It's all of the functions within our body. It's how our systems work and when they're not working properly, they cause issues for us. I just picked up my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye here, really really like this. I am going to be going for this guy here, and I think this dude here, or maybe this dude. I just want to go for something subtle and soft and just, just wearable. I've got my Sephora Profan 25. 
I like this for what I'm just kind of getting stuff everywhere. Again, I'm going to be outside. There's, there's no reason to, to try to go crazy town. And I say that, but I really like just beautiful, sparkly, shiny. in there at the lash line. I find that I miss that a lot and then I'm like, I have bald spots. I'm like, no, you just didn't get in there right. Again, I'm on video and I'm holding it too far down. <laughs> I'm not the only one. I've noticed a couple other YouTube creators kind of doing the same thing. Like you just, you forget. And when you're on camera, I think you're, you're trying to do things quickly, but you're like, I'm having problems blending. And it's because I'm holding my brush wrong. Just want to get that all over. That pillow talky sparkle. I really like that. I think Exaggerize, and there's a four quad pillow, but I, pillow talk palette, but I think Exaggerize calls to me a little bit more if there were a day where I was like, Charlotte's not selling this anymore. I need it in my life. I think Exaggerize would be what I'd go with. I think that might be limited too. I really hate limited edition palettes because I fall in love with them and then I can't get them anymore and it really irritates me. Like if you're going to do something that's a standout that people really want, don't mess with us. Just just keep it. Just make it a forever product. We're, we're not, I, I'm not, okay, Becca and Champagne Pop. I'm not angry about it. People love that highlighter. They love it so much that it's a staple in their collection. Yes, I get that there are people who are mad that bought it up because they thought it was gonna go away, but I don't fault a company for being like, people love this, we're gonna keep it in the rotation. Like, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that because that's customer driven. If people weren't buying it, they wouldn't have to do it, right? And I feel it from the opposite end of, I fall in love with something and it gets discontinued and then it's discontinued and I can't get it and then I'm irritated, I can't get it. Just taking this everywhere. And then what's left in the brush, I'm just gonna take it underneath. I don't even care if the line's too big. Screw it. I have been playing a lot more. Let's see, I'm I'm sweaty, so that's part of the problem. It's starting to get sweaty here. Our downstairs is cooler than our upstairs. So that it has a tendency to get a lot warmer in here than it does down there. And I have the window open for breeze. And maybe that's the problem. I'm gonna try to knock things down here. See, and then I can feel it. There was a breeze coming in, but it's a hot breeze. So I'll just close the window and go from there. Next, 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 next. All right, so which color? I do like, I do like that cooler color with it because the, the pillow talk is kind of a cooler shade. So I am gonna just tap in that cooler mat. I'm just gonna, oh, that's perfect. Charlotte knows what she's doing with some tone. Just wanna darken, and not even really darken, but just deepen that outer corner. Just get it in there. Just get it nice and in there. I'm using my Sonia Kashuk from Target. I love Sonia Kashuk brushes. I really do. It's it's hard to want to invest in more expensive brushes when I have Sonia Kashuk and Real Techniques brushes that I just that I love. Let's get in there. Make it kind of in the crease. Just deep and deep and deep and deep and deep and deep and deep and. I'm also discovering that I like nighttime style makeup, like that kind of look I really like. I noticed that LS posted a video yesterday where she was wearing black lipstick and I swear to God, I looked at it and I was like, girl makes me wanna wear some black lipstick. Like she just looks so gorgeous. I was like, mm. I would look weird. It, it, would, it might look weird on me, but she looks perfect. I think it's because her lips are just, she has juicy, lovely lips. And I think that makes a difference because it makes a statement on the face when you wear a lipstick like that. Like just the rest of her makeup, like her eye makeup, I'm just like, girl, girl. 
you have that moment of, you look amazing, I love it, yes. She is not afraid of color and what I think would be, you know, more, I'm just gonna call it high fashion. I mean, it looks like something you would expect to see out of a fashion magazine, right? You know, you, beautiful, beautiful woman in, you know, incredible makeup that you look at and you're like, I love it, but I could never pull it off. Like that kind of makeup. It just, it works. I hear some playing going on upstairs. I find lately too that if I don't line my under eye, I get really upset. <laughs> like my eye just doesn't look finished. I'm just gonna connect it a little bit here. And I find that connecting it more, trying to connect it more underneath like you're supposed to do, also helps because I have a tendency not to connect it and then I have like bald patches, which is never good. I'm taking my YSL top secrets from my cheeks. Just, ooh, just take a little bit of it there. This one's tried and true, I know it'll last. It's such a nice base. I really like it. It's weird because I feel like it's something I don't see anyone ever talk about. Like y'all. All right, I just got some leftover. I'm just gonna put it down here because my forehead is so oily right now. I am sweating. There's no airflow in here right now and I turned off, I turned off the fan. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my blush palette so I have a mirror so I can finish off the eyes. I'm just taking my Anastasia brow gel. It's nice and warm and tone. It gives just a hint of shine, a very nice shine, I find, to my brows. Just some just some dimensions so they're not flat. And this is something that's almost out and I will be repurchasing because I love it so much. All right, let's finish up them eyeballs while we wait for that primer to get set. I'm not lining the upper eye. I have been enjoying a good line on my upper eye, but I don't really have a lot of lid space because they're hooded. So sometimes when I line, that's all you see. And I am um, not trying to go for that look right now. I'm also trying to figure out what blush I want to wear. I don't know, I don't know, blush or lipstick today, I don't know. I feel like I probably won't wear much lipstick. I feel like it is going to be just my collagen lip bath day from Charlotte Tilbury is probably what I'm gonna go with. I really like that stuff, it makes my lips look nice. Just trying to get this done. My husband's gonna wanna get in here cause he's gonna have to get in the shower and get out of here. He's patiently waiting for me and I'm taking longer than I intended. I don't shave my legs cause I'm a hairy bitch. And if I tried to shave, I would have to shave my legs every day which is soups annoying. So I epilate and the epilating pulls the hair out. I don't even feel it anymore. I've been doing it for, for years now, but it is so nice to just do because the hair comes back finer. It comes back paler. You know, so you don't have thick black hairs. So if you miss something, it's usually not as noticeable, which I really like. And again, I have no idea what blush I wanna wear. So I was almost thinking it's a toss up between Jaloux and Sin. But I almost feel like neither one of those actually captures because I feel like this is much, much warmer look. I think it might be a NARS orgasm day. So that's what we're gonna go for. I'm just gonna take some NARS orgasm. I think that'll work. And I'm using a 002 blush brush from Real Techniques. I have been loving this one. It just gives me such nice control over a smaller area. And I like the shape of, see, you can see I'm sweating. I like the shape of the, of the brush. I pick up way more product than I need to for NARS, but I like, 
I like a nice blush, like a nice strong clowny blush. Mm, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Bada bing, bada boom. Lips, um, I think I'll just show you guys Bitch Perfect. Charlotte Tilbury, I love this. Eventually I will get it in a full size. Bitch Perfect Stoned Rose and Supermodel. I like my perfect. Perfect peachy nude for me. Looks way brighter on camera than it does in real life, I promise. And then Supermodel's grungy and Stoned Rose is a little pinker and a lot warmer. So depending on the look you're going for, Stone Rose might actually look really good with this eye look. I think it might. I realize I'm staring at the, the screen. So yeah, so that's it. I'm getting some new contact dermatitis. I put sriracha on my breakfast burrito. I'll have to take care of that. It was going away, but it irritates my skin, so. Is what it is. I'm gonna pop off here and I might take a photo later because I'm really kind of liking this. And I just almost fell over. So, okay. All right. All right. Catch you guys later.